And when he passed away, and he had the situation with, you know, Daddy loved you more, and who's going to walk me down the aisle, and, and you were able to, you know, just come in there and just take the reins. I saw that, and I said, that's incredible. You know, that that woman can be so strong. And uh, I draw my, uh, my strength I draw from you. So once again, it's, it's been a very difficult, uh, the whole time, because I don't know if many of you know that I was one of the dispatch officers down there to that, to that terrible day, not knowing that it was my best friend. But I've accepted the fact that my buddy, my good friend, would have wanted me to do it the right way. And even when we worked together, he was always so concerned about the paperwork, making sure that we had double six, make sure that we didn't get any paper trail that would follow us and hunt us. And he would say, he said, Robert, I, did you code six? I said, yes, Victor. Okay. We're, we're OK, buddy. He said, did you check all the markers? I said, we're, we're okay. So I was his little secretary. <laughs> so I think in all respect, uh, in his honor, I think that so he can know and God can know upstairs with him that everything's been taken care of. I would just like to end this by, first of all, once again, thanking everyone, Chief Conco, everybody here on our busy nights where we have other commitments and, and other things that we've come to pay honor and homage to a great man that did a wonderful job, not as a police officer, but as, as a family man, a, a, a beautiful dad and a provider. He wanted his kids to have the best of the best, and he worked hard. He worked very hard, and he would always, always was out there to help anybody. Didn't matter what the situation was, he was always there to help. And I would like to end this by saying that I would like to say that DPD badge 5771 on a double six, over and out. Thank you very much.